he was kind of not nice verbally to her. NBC's new limited series, The Thing About Pam, premiered tonight right here on Five on Your Side. The true crime saga unfolded in Lincoln and St. Charles counties. All of the main characters are real people, many you've seen on the news as the murder mystery played out in real time. Tonight, our Christine Byers tells us how some of the real life characters help the actors prepare to portray them. What are the police doing here? Something happened, Minnie. It's just such a fascinating story. And he should know. My wife, <laughs> she's dead. Taking on Russ Faria as a client in 2011 changed defense attorney Joel Schwartz's life forever. Last week I did probably three hours of interviews per day. She lied about where she was at the time of the crime. Now Josh Dumel is portraying Schwartz in the miniseries The Thing About Pam. We got Pam's motive to kill. The writers and the showrunner spent upwards of probably 60 hours just with Russ and myself in communication to make sure that they were true to the actual story. Dumel spoke highly of Schwartz on the red carpet. So the more I got to know him, the more easy it became to, to play him. We become friendly. I mean, he's a, he's a good dude, really fun guy. Schwartz lost the case in 2013 after a jury convicted Russ Faria of murdering his wife, Betsy, by stabbing her 55 times. I didn't do this. He then worked for years to prove Betsy's friend, Pam Hupp, was the more likely suspect. I did go in the house. Well, then you changed your story. Ultimately, getting Russ's conviction overturned, freeing him from prison after three years. So far, Russ has only seen the trailers of the show. I haven't seen any of the episodes other than just the clips that everybody else has seen. Um, but I think they've done a really good job of staying true to the story as much as they could. I spoke with the writers just last week, and they were very excited and wanted to let me know and thank me for all of the hard work and my time working with them. Actor Glenn Fleshler plays Russ in the miniseries. Normally I would jump at the chance to meet somebody I was playing, but I was so daunted by this project that I quickly scrambled to, you know, wrap my brain around playing Russ. Ultimately, the two men talked on the phone. He took me so much deeper into his story and the pain and the humanity of it all. A story so unbelievable, viewers might be left wondering if it's fact or fiction. People are going to watch this show and wish there were more than six hours because it could go on for 12 episodes. Obviously, if you've seen the trailer, made this what looks to be extremely entertaining. Christine Byers, five on your side. There are a total of six episodes of The Thing About Pam. The show airs Tuesday nights at 9, followed by Five on Your Side at 10. For many, the show is entertainment, but it's important to remember that two people lost their lives and their loved ones are still here in the St. Louis area. We spoke with Betsy Freya's daughter, Mariah Day. She met with producers and actress Katie Mixon, who plays her mom in the series. But when she saw the previews, she was caught off guard by the campiness and upbeat music. Day is holding out hope this series will bring attention to the many victims in the story. I hope the show gives light to my mom and Louis Gumpenberger. And I just, people tend to forget about the victims that were involved because it's Pam Huff's name is everywhere. But I hope they show light that my mom was more than her death story. Day says her family has not received compensation for her mother's story, so she is frustrated that others are benefiting financially. She's also not ready to watch the series, but hopes she might be able to soon. Day also shared with us she is now nine months pregnant. Her due date is actually on her mom's birthday, and she plans to name her baby girl Betsy.